So two octave triad shifting exercise. It's all the way up from the third fret to the 12th fret, you should be able to shift in triad. So we have G major, so I'm doing it in G major. So we have G major, B, D, why I say G major? Same thing. So G, B, D, G, B, D, G, right? But if you're shifting it and playing a different way, it's not your normal two, one, four movement that you would usually be used to doing. It's not that same thing. It's a, it's a shift. So first position, shift, fourth finger to the B. D, second finger, first finger, sorry. Uh, I have that ticking noise. I gotta cut that now. Uh, so we have G, shift, B, first finger, D. Uh, we have, and then first finger is gonna play the G right underneath that. So, so we have a fully finished triad. So we have G major triad right there, right? And then the octave. But what you're gonna do is just keep going with that. So two octave triad shifting exercise. So now because you can't go down another string, if I had a, if I had a six string, I would probably be able to hit that right below. But now you have to make another big shift there. And that'll just get you comfortable with shifting that amount of space or that amount of frets. So see, we have one, we have one, two, three, four, five, five frets in between this that we have to shift, right? So huge gap, huge space. Usually sometimes we'll do a four fret shift maybe, uh, but the five, that's, you know, you have to really be paying attention to where you're going. So it can just be smooth. Obviously, want to take this backwards as well, right? So going up and down, and you know, kind of challenging yourself to be able to do that. First of all, getting the notes right after you hit the G, hit the B again. So you're only working with three different notes: G, B, uh, sorry, G, B, D, G, B, D, G. Boom! All right at the end of it, you can hit a nice little, uh, you know, inversion second second inversion chord of the G major. If you haven't, you know, played inversions or don't know exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> we have different lessons or tons of lessons on inversions. I spent a lot of time talking about inversions and how important they are to actually, you know, spice up that chord or spice up the, just that one chord, the triad chord that everybody knows, just the one, three, five. You don't have to play it the same way all the time. You can mix those notes around. So you can be a little creative with that. And you can move it around if you want to, half step. Ah. But the most important thing is to go back and forth, right? To so go move this up and down. Ah. That'll give you a nice little stretch. All you have to do is just go from one place of the fretboard and now you just from a triad you're all the way up here anyway so hopefully that helps uh just make sure it's coming out clean clear and precise when you do that cut your nail <laughs> all that good stuff and um yeah that's it